Welcome, welcome, welcome back to another Squad Ops One Life event. Tonight we have Operation Frozen Dinner. Got a little bit of a cold going on tonight, but we'll deal with it. I'm Wilbur. Joining with me tonight is Boogie. And uh, we got a little special treat for you. And uh, you'll just have to keep watching the stream to see what it is. But it might just be a multicam. So go ahead and say hello to everyone, Boogie. How we doing, everybody? So for tonight, we've got militia forces on Operation Frozen Dinner. They're going to be pushing out of their main going after the militia forces stockpiled uh, food and ammunition that they have set up in the factory. Russian forces are supposed to take over this Russian factory or this militia factory. I'm sorry. And this factory is going to be set up over an F3. If you remember the map, the militia forces whole mission is to defend the factory and their stockpile of supplies and arms while the Russian forces have got to destroy all militia and the assets in the factory so for tonight the russian loadouts we got for the as each individual squad we got of course one s one sl two ars one medic and across the entire platoon we're going to have four lats and two engineers vehicles are going to have a trans truck one logi truck with one max load of 1000 ammo and uh at the five they're going to get a mortar platoon uh so they'll have one and a half ammo and one and a half build on that for the russians and then for commands tonight on the russian side we've got dwarf and then his sls leading out second in command is going to be assault and then followed up with athel rather scottish chap and hedda what uh what are you reading out for the militia forces over there boogie we are. Give me I one think, moment. I think my idea is assault. You're going to be the border huggers for militia today. So assault's going to be the border huggers. Hey, Let's load our southern, the southern force that's going to go across it to. We have stuff. Bridges. First of all, um, looks like we're going to have an SL. If this thing would load, and then, uh, go ahead and read it. I cannot seem to load it real quick. And there we go. All right. So militia, we've got the uh, one times SL, uh, one times FTL kit, one times AR, one sapper, and a medic. Uh, their vehicles include one times MTLB AA gun with uh, a logi with any kind of uh, any kind of uh, loadout there. Um, they will have the mortar. And two HMGs on the FOB and various and defensive structures at their choosing. All right. So, yeah, uh, looking like the Russians can't use any Lodgy runs, but the militia will be able to do some Lodgy runs. And I guess they're going to be using these to re more, more reinforce. I don't know the word for it, but, you know, just build up a better defensive uh location at factory uh the militia can't they can spawn at main and they got to move into factory and they got to get a fob down before live and then from live i mean they're if i mean if you're looking at this map and you look where the russian main is they don't have much time for the rut from when the russians are going from live to get to that factory to build a lot so I guess they're going to have to use these uh, these assets very quickly, and I mean to get a get a fob, you know, a, an ammo run all the way down at Maine at Bravo Eleven down here in the southeast corner. That's going to take a it's going to take a bit. So I don't think they're probably going to use that. But that MTLB, the the AAA, I mean, or double A, I'm sorry, the anti aircraft. I mean, they're going to be able to use that. So I mean, how how do you feel that that's going to play into everything? Well, in this op, uh, it's it's basically you know turtle up and and try to last until you know the attack can't hold anymore. So uh, I think what most people have always done was uh, they would turtle up that that little uh, MTLB there around some fortifications and just have the gunner sit in there and just pick off guys as they you know 
show themselves in the open. Yeah, I think that I think the last time we ran this op, I was actually running in it, and I think that was like the, the force of contention there there at the end. Someone was just sitting inside that vehicle, and they wouldn't come out, and they were the last man. And it, you know, the Russians had it completely surrounded. I, I think it was it made for some some pretty funny uh, pretty funny content. Um, the other thing is, is the militia cannot cross the river, so. They're only allowed to go within the fob radius once live goes. So that fob that they set down in the in the uh, factory, they're not going to be able to move out of that fob radius. And so after that, they can push out, which is good. But that means that if it comes over command comms that the factory's been overrun, they got to retake it. How do you feel about retaking this factory? I mean, taking it. First of all, is is hard enough as it is, uh, especially when you got depleted forces. Obviously, you have possibly have maybe one or two guys left on a fob, and it needs to get back going. So, uh, it's it's very challenging, especially if you have a one squad left, or you have maybe you've taken a few casualties. You have six, five guys left. It's very difficult to clear out all of those nooks and crannies. Yeah, there are definitely a lot of hiding spots. From I remember the last time I played on this. And you, you got a lot of the building that you can hide at depending on how many defensive structures you put up you can make those hiding spots even worse i know some of the rules have changed uh in the in the past couple of hours on the ops on like how you can build everything i think it's no more inside of certain buildings you can't do doubles double sandbags but you can do double wire is that how i am getting this from what i peeked at it yeah um We've had had a little bit going on with the double stacked inside buildings, um, but to give a little bit of a competitive, you know, more competitive edge there. All right, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna head over to the brief for the Russian side real quick. So uh, let's see how this goes out. Let's see how it plays out. No fucking way this is everyone. No. No, no, no. no. Oh, okay. Still, still squares not spawning in the thing. I'm sending kits and all that. If it is... We're gonna have we're some well interesting go. maneuvers. We are kinda of fucked. Don't worry, we have Aethel and Dwarf. We have Aethel and Dwarf, it's fine. Yeah. I'm, I'm blushing right now, man. Hey, Do French people blush different? Hey, Viper. We're gonna get you known for you. Come on, let's go in the corner over here. No, I know. If, I know it's it's okay, few rather it's... due to all the wine we consume. Wolf. Yes, okay. we don't have any uh, it's kinda, it's kinda, it's ammo bag. Yeah. Yeah. Ammo bag. You stop making that noise. So the squeaky chair. Okay, guys. Uh, championship game on Monday night. Go Tigers. Oh, yeah. Sure oh, yeah. Now we're not yes, talking I about kickball. Uh, we're going to do a last stand at the factory. I forgot you put your gun away. One AA gun, uh, one mortar, two HMGs, and various defensive structures that we're going to set up. What the hell was that? I don't know, continue. All right. Yeah, um... Basically, what's gonna happen is Russia is gonna be coming in from the east, but they may move south. So, today we'll have, uh, Harv in the south on the hill at Fox 468, the red helmet mark. We'll have B-Car Squad in the east on, uh, the helmet mark G221. And then I'm gonna rush Alpha Squad up to the north at Hotel 147 behind a hill. That way he can overwatch the hill to the north. Jack Squad will be uh, put on point for defense and they will take over the AA guns and the various defensive structures and the mortars. And basically, the main goal is hit and run tactics, guys. We're not there to engage. If we can catch them on the bridges, that's perfect. But, uh, 
Basically, it's not to get in a full-fledged firefight. The main defense will be here at the factory. Uh, so hit and run. So fucking shoot at them and then retreat. Um, I've let your squad leaders know not to get decisively engaged. We're going to set up the MTLB back in this area on the tank mark. That way, because one of their objectives is to destroy it. Uh, so defend that with your lives. We'll have it set up. We'll put some sandbags around it, and that'll be pretty swell. It's not able to move, but we will have a gunner inside the MTLB. Um, are there any questions from that brief? That That's about it. Uh, the squad in the south will also be watching the southernmost bridges to confirm that they're not coming from the south. We are going to be allowed to do Lodgy runs, and uh, that's that's about it. Our objective for the whole game, or the whole mission, is to basically just defend this factory, guys, with our lives. Uh, are there any questions for that? I've got one. Go ahead. Is uh, our objective just to kill all of us, or is it to? Are there any specific points in here that we have to defend? So the specific points are our stockpile, which is the MTLB, our HMGs, and our mortar. But uh, our main object, their main objective, is to take factory, to take the factory from us. And the Basically, they win right? Operation they uh, Frozen Dinner. As you can see, we're the Russian forces. We have been tasked with destroying an enemy anti-aircraft MTLB that is stationed or set up near the uh, tire factory here in the Balea region. It's uh, marked on the map based on our UAV intelligence over in Fox 385. That whole tire factory is our objective. We have to destroy the AA so we can get air support. And uh, we have to capture the tire factory since it's the key point of interest in the region. So in order to do that, we're going to have a few things going on here. <coughs> First, we have... Scottish squad. The Scottish squad is going to go into town just to our west and they're going to set up positions basically as a show of force. Let the enemy think that we're going to come in heavy north side. Yeah, they're ready. Uh, stand by. We're going to come in heavy at the north so we can get uh, firepower on there, draw their forces north. And while that's going on, we're going to have Aethel squad. Aethel squad is going to be with the uh, mortars. I'm going to be with them, and we're going to set up at the fob mark, as marked on the map. And we're going to mortar targets as identified by Scottish. And while that's going on, Heda and Assault squads are going to get in the, the uh, trans and take the long, windy route down south here at this last five mark. And I'm going to remark it as a helmet mark. They're going to ditch their trucks. Heda's squad is going to head north this way towards the bridges, towards the train tunnel, while Assault Squad is going to take the uh, very sexy border flank here along the map edge, hopefully get around any enemy contacts that are at train tunnel, and then they're going to move up together towards uh, Tire Factory. While they're pushing north, hopefully Pat uh, Scottish Squad will have killed a lot of contacts or at least taken a lot of fire to distract them, and then... Aethel Squad will then start pushing west across the bridge and cut the enemy in half. So, it might look a little complicated, but trust me, very simple. We'll get through this. Taking the tire factory is very, very easy. Just got to watch out for that MTLB. It does have a, a PKT machine gun on it, which is the uh, little 762 coax on the, t the front end. So, just keep that in mind. Lats, it's very important you take that thing out. And if you're unable to do so, then just stay out of its line of fire. Are there any questions? ROE. ROE is... Uh, Assault Squad is going to be on a stricter ROE, just because I don't want him being spotted too early. Uh, otherwise, if you're shot at, you're free to engage, and Scottish Squad has literally no ROE. They're, they can just fucking shoot at will if they care. They care to shoot in the air. Yeah, Hell not actually, but bullets have to come down, you know. What if you don't know what are? Or... All right, or... rules of engagement. You're that your means rules to of engagement. Okay. But you got...
All right, so let's go get loaded up in your trucks. Get ready for live. We got two minutes. Uh, I've got a guy at main still. Can we stop door? Oh, almost a rolled dodgy. Oh, these guys are rolling up quick. Wow, who's driving for you, Ain't Scottish? Chicken? Mm. Stay. G29. So it looks like hey, there's uh, only one just squad just cross that's going up to this it's north from the bridge. From the bridge. <laughs> See, there's one, yeah, center bridge, two bridge squads here. next yeah, to yeah, They're going to be in the city. Two, two militia squads. This is a rather Scottish chap. His squad up here on the northeast. Alright, we're on this hill. We're watching anyone looking through the city. That's all we're doing. Guys dropped off up the north there. We are anti-city defense at this point. Oh, this is going to be nice. We're going to get sandwiched. Yeah, Benjamin. Yeah, lawn darts definitely. It, I don't. I don't think. I don't think his heart rate ever raised above forty in his entire life. Like he's just, yeah, he's a flat line. It's a, it, and that's something that you need as a commander, someone who's always calm. And we're taking contacts here on the northeast, rather Scottish chap squad. Watch this ridge line at two R uh, West. Yeah, but they could have shifted elsewhere. Moving up. Shots being fired over here. Uh, they're getting into a uh, town hill battle at the moment. Guys, let's get, get some guys in this building. Get two guys in this building. Uh, we're taking what? Sprite? Uh, I think they've, I think they've taken the bus. eastern we hill. Building. Scottish calls out that they've taken yeah, the eastern hill. Yeah, they've taken the eastern hill, but um, they're definitely noticed. Forever. Like, they're, they were taking some fire, so I'm pretty sure everyone knows where they are. They're clearing out buildings right now to make sure that... I don't know why they're clearing out these buildings. I mean, there's no way the militia got here that quick. Yeah, right, just, uh, sorry. Oh, always. Yeah. I'm on the edge of the... Too many times I've assumed and has got me killed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Never assume. Never assume. But the good thing about taking over these buildings if i mean the lighting isn't very good in here so they can really hide and scope out these hills you, uh, and see uh, you know uh, Charlie, maybe if there's anybody Rifle, close to them here, like looking at these buildings the the hill. i mean they're, they're like masked in the lighting it's weird i've yeah. never seen this actually Looking at Beekhart right, so right now, his guys are uh, taking position on that hill, looking straight at That's that town. Now taking shots over there. Oh shit! Yep, they just called him out. Baggins goes down. Bombs. Taking shots from our north. They might have flanked around. Lost a guy. In. I'm not sure who that was, but they got a good shot behind that rock there. Yeah, G two five five. Yeah, they they got up here real fast. I'm having my guys fall back. Fall back. Oh, we're trying to get eyes. I don't see any of these contacts. Uh, send off you at G221. B221, copy. G. Go. G2. Looks Go. like B cars guys are peeling off back up, down the mountain. One guy gets spotted. Yo, watch out. There's enemy mortar. Enemy Mortar's mortar. out. So, one, be careful. Yeah, we definitely got Beowulf and uh, Viper over here. They, they've got this hill locked down against the militia forces. Every time they peek up, they're firing out on them. Looks like these mortars are a little shy. Uh, it looks like B-Car may be the one calling these in.
They're, they're probably they probably got eyes on us. So uh, two and three, go ahead and continue. Continue on as normal. We'll shoot it. Three, I'm surprised that Militia end. Command hasn't pulled Good Squad guy. Three down yet from up north. There's I mean, they're no, still no sitting way, way up the north, right. not doing anything. Maybe they're he's holding them in reserve for when enemy enemy personnel get closer to the fob. I think uh, it's a delayed strategy. I think this I think this totally may weird. work this in their favor because if they give any ground at all here, B car gives any ground, uh, Alpha Guido down. can come in from behind and, and swamp them. Absolutely, because they're probably all focused forward. Looking towards the fob, not thinking. Oh, maybe there's an entire squad right Probably, behind. Uh, all call signs Especially if they're taking contact to their front, they're not going to be looking behind them. Uh, at least three. not going not enough to really uh, give them any kind of warning system. Uh, uh, absolutely three. not. You know, one of the th one of the biggest problems, you know, even in this game is tunnel vision. I mean, you look you look forward and you stop worrying about your 360. I mean, I know that's one of the things that the, the oh, SOT the classes river. go over is defensive three sixties, but the river, sometimes you just you just forget. I mean, you're in the chaos. You're looking forward. You're getting fired upon. You just forget about your rear. Are we not allowed to move? We're across definitely across in the moment. The definitely, no, we're not allowed to cross the river at all. We'll get Guys, out of your head real maybe quick. You could probably come over here and get a better angle. Um, it's not even Scottish just the bridge. It's the uh, other hillsides. Water? I'm really like I'm really liking this patience from Sloth Boy to keep that squad three up to the north and just you know holding. I mean the other thing is I see that there's two sappers that are up there. Maybe they're putting down mines. I didn't see any restrictions on mines. I got decently from there. I'm uh, concerned they're going to be one in these buildings across and the hills across. Scottish Shep has his guys Hello, nicely spread out in this village two here. And three, uh, yeah. Oh wow! He's got seems to be a fire team in one building over here, and then a uh, fire team spread out between two buildings here, really covering as much as possible here. And uh, he's in the rear with the gear here. Yeah, one More thing you definitely got to. Oh, that's always good. But one yeah, thing you definitely like got to remember like also. You know, when you're in these buildings, be careful of clipping. You know, people stand too close to these windows and they clip their body out of it, and it definitely gives you away. Mortar's Squad ops has a rule. Directly on that building, a Viper and Bo Wolf were in. But yeah, I mean, you got we got to. Muzzle awareness, you know, make sure your gun's not sticking out the window when you're moving all the way around. Yeah, it's just... You gotta think about things like that, especially in a video game. Oh, and look what we have here. Alpha Guido's moving his guys in. Where do you have your fire set up? Scottish out in the open there. H2-1 and G2-6 and G2-3. All right, good, good shit. Um, just keep it, keep making noise. Um, keep hauling in mortars as you see people. Squads uh, two and three. As you start seeing contacts down there, you give uh, ethyl coordinates. You're gonna have priority of fires. Three copies, and also we just spotted the enemy logistics truck. Uh, they're running through train tunnel now, headed towards the objective. Uh, Lima being a chunk of moving up here, uh, they're going to get eyes on uh, these guys in the front building very soon. Go ahead and cross the bridge whenever you're ready. Do you think it's safe? Meanwhile, the rest of the squad is moving in from the uh, east side here. Yeah, they definitely split up the squad. You know, two fire teams, one on each side. It's a really good move. You know, not putting your entire forces all in the same spot. Right, this window right here. Uh, Especially if you're trying to clear a town, you don't want everyone going down the same funnel, uh, fatal funnel. Definitely. Yeah. It's probably where they're going to be if they're going to be up there. Yeah, and these guys, I mean, all these guys are just. Fire and just start firing. Just 
they're looking straight to that hill. There's no one looking behind them at all. Switch to single. Switch single. Save your ammo. Oh yeah, that the squad three definitely knows where they are now. Three are you engaging? I, guess I don't think they know contact. where Viper and Beowulf are, but... Oh, nope. They definitely do, because uh, they're firing in this building. Position has been given away. Meanwhile, Guido's guys are a just shot. getting into the city here. I believe they are. They take this slowly. They can methodically get these guys here. It's Sergeant Jackson, Garrett... Mortars coming in. More around that house of yeah. Vipers, that, and they definitely know he's that, there. That is so smart, because they're putting these mortars in, having their guys come in. You know, the Russians are more like, oh, God, the, the mortars are coming in. Let's hunker down. They're not looking out windows. And then they're moving their guys in closer. That is a smart play. Beowulf might know that there's someone behind him. He's, he's actually starting to look behind him now. There's more shooting over here. I'm wondering if it's at the hill, which looks like it may be. Got a couple guys checking their rears. I think two are like it's very, uh, in those buildings. very 360. Oh, outlawer. We may see. No, they're behind a building. Yeah, Beowulf just called him out in local chat saying that they're danger close. He's like, I'm looking north. Wow. You got... A couple guys hitting here from the northeast. The bulk of the squad coming in on Scottish chaps building here. Uh, we have at HQ45. And uh, Scottish just called him out, so the jig is up. H245? Yeah, that's what they called it. Well, fuck. Not watching your flank son. And now <laughs> they think they're only coming east. They have no clue about these guys sitting here in the... I believe I've had one casualty. You think you have one casualty? You don't know? I don't know if it does. Uh, nope, yep. And fighting has started over here on the northeast side. Is that one of you guys outside? Um, looks like Dr. Yeetalot may have fell out of the building. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, he is severely gross. injured. And his medic's on the other side of the town. Oh, God. Copy. Actually, never mind. That's just an antenna lamppost. Thought he was a second machine gun. So Beowulf and Viper are moving Scottish, to the to next building. They're going to split up. They only have two guys to the north. The rest of the squad is down towards the east. Tinkerbell gets hit from Alpha Guido's building. They're uh, they're picking them off here. There's one being called out in the H219. Copy. I won't waste orders on it then. Oh, I think I see one. Oh, I think I see one. <laughs> So, Scottish, looking at the map, to your north. It's an we have the flanking that is uh, on the hotel. east side of the map. They're holding the bridge tunnel. Hotel two, seven, four, uh, looks like rather Scottish Chaps way. squad was the one that got pointed out, so they might be focusing most of their forces that oh, way. And they have another squad that's pushing off towards the southeast. I'm wondering how fast Squad 3 is going to start causing some chaos here on that eastern eastern map, or I'm sorry, western map border, considering they're putting all their mortars towards this northeast. Hopefully they have something left in case they spot Squad 3 or Squad 2. I mean, we definitely have two guys here towards the north and they're not moving i think they're waiting for command for some type of command to move into the building everyone in this 
in these buildings are looking towards the north. No one towards, or I'm sorry, they're looking towards the east. No one has called anything out towards the north in a serious. Just stand by for now. Uh, two. What's your status? I thought I'd move into the north, and I was fucking right. Currently trying to move my guys up onto yeah. the hill of Fox Four Six. Oh well, this is what we want to do. Donning my fire teams right now. I got two contacts up there. Uh, yes, definitely want to check out what's going on in this map the order. Of the guys in this town Let's see how close they're actually going to get. Yeah, I mean, they are overlooking. Copy, copy. How, how close are they to you? Are they I the think Northwest. Alyssa may have pointed them out. They did do it. just have a Lodgy run that just ran by. I'm surprised they didn't try to take that out. Copy. Uh, estimated uh, grid or location E three two six right around there. Correct? So guys, Melissa yeah, definitely yeah, knows that they are out out here on the map border. Point. So the gig is up. Boy, they They're laying down. To, uh, E3, 3, 4 by now. It looks from the fob that they're starting to re-emplace their forces to take this squad three that's over here on the map border. They still haven't seen anything on. The train yeah, tunnel. Advise, my guys are calling out. So the train tunnel is moving out four, now, right around there and I think the they're going to do a direct yeah. south push towards that yeah, high yeah, point where they got a fire. Serious. The yeah, militia yeah, forces have a positive. fire team. Man, I'm going to send my Bravo team <laughs> into the point. Mission to move to the map. Is it E three four four or E three five five? Because E three four four is out of sight of the map. If you think it's better, move. Just try not to. Copy. Uh, yeah, it'd be probably E three five five. Little old five B won't lone wolf though. We're gonna have that, uh, that MTLB. Bravo, why don't you go ahead and, uh, go into the point and, uh, set up shop, uh, so looking, uh, south, southeast. Yeah, I'm sending mortars over there. Or I mean, south, right southwest. Now. My bad. Okay. E355, yeah. Yes, E355. Then Four, you're gonna swing around maybe the they're, they're gonna arrange the these guys on, uh, the way. hilltop over at the map border. Four, understand. Got assault. At least he's not leading from the front. Squad leader should never lead from the front. Never. Was a ranging shot on the factory. Trying to fuck his oh, now. No, it's fine. I was just curious. I don't even and know mortars there. are going to be coming over here shortly. Hey, two, let mortars me out. You can kinda Might be getting hit here shortly. Mortars inbound, don't know who they're at. Chicken coordinates, you said Fox 6 8, correct? Salt's about to get a breakfast call. Yeah. Keep spacing, guys. Hey, watch. Oh, uh, they got smokes. They're they're bracketing. They're look they're target they're trying to target it. Assault should move out. I don't know if he knows that those landed close to him. It'll be hard to see with all the white snow there. Whether it's Pushing south. Oh, he does have one smoke right in front of Oddball, right in front of one of his FTL. Needs to call this out that he's getting bracketed. Down the riverbank and over to me. We're out. Yep, here it comes. And he, he put some spread on that one. More out. Just go prone in a corner. He's putting dispersion all over that area. Maybe that was a test shot. Who is currently getting mortared? Yeah. Yeah, they're landing towards the north. That HE is most likely for yep. me. Yep. Uh, assault just said, "Hey, that's probably for me." All right, three, it's about 50 uh, meters north, but there is a sir, there is a fire team east. that is moving towards that map border flank to hold them off. All right, I'm telling my guys to double time towards this hill. Ethel, drop smoke. Ethel, I want you to drop smoke in Fox 342 and spread it out. So Assault's getting his guys to move back to the, the southwest. And I think they're going to try to get to a better position to go northeast. Looks like you got some contact on a hill here um, to the southeast. Uh, Come in, hey, so the squad guys? coming up on that hill. Oh, going to get a vantage point once they get these guys off the hill. Right, uh, issues. Until then, we're gonna just tell you it's back, guys. We're gonna continue on to. We're uh, gonna hold position here. Break, break. I got guys uh, to my direct south. F434. Which are pushing in. 
Copy that one. Uh, we're moving along the riverbank. We can probably help you flank those targets. Charlie, hold here. You can hold a bit longer, but feel free to pull back if you're uh, getting overwhelmed there. My guys uh, are direct pulling back. Work with, uh, yeah, sorry about that, chat. You know, for some hill. reason, it wasn't Jack, scrolling down as you guys put that in. A uh, lot of good comments coming in. Lawn darts, of course. Yeah, they probably should have seen that, but uh, they, they just did. Grenade range, copy. Bravo, if you can Looks see like people that, uh, that flanking element has pushed back. Charlie, I need you to keep backing up. Uh, keep back south. Up. Uh, they didn't want anything to do with those mortars. Jack, I need mortars. Hey, Abel, yeah, assault, okay. assault's okay. Move, okay. repositioned okay. his okay. whole squad, which is a pretty smart move. If you get if you get con okay. if you get spotted and you know you get spotted, you got to reposition to another another spot and attack from a different direction. No point in you know. Copy. Doing the lemmings and just throwing your forces all into the same spot. Looks like mortars inbound on the fort, on the fob here. They're smoking it, trying to uh, mask a retreat, I guess. Uh, I think that's what they called over the radio. Uh, HE now going out onto the factory here in a moment. The order has been called to spam it. Fulcrum getting a little, a little scared with that one. I saw him jump a little bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering if Dorf... I mean, no one's called out the MTLB. I'm wondering if Dorf is just guessing that it's inside of the fob. Usually it is. Uh, usually it's turtled up. It Maybe uh, sometimes it's it's north side of the fob in those little ruins over there. Uh, right over here. Where I'm at and right now, yeah. they bunker that thing up, but yeah. I guess this time he's he's got that thing off. Two and three, we're gonna keep dropping mortars on the uh, factory. But if you guys see smokes, just let us know. Or if you have so? other targets, priority. Yeah, let's cross. So uh, my guys are just. I'm not sure where those mortars are landing. Two and three, we're gonna keep dropping mortars on the uh, factory. But if you guys see smokes, just let us know. Or if you have other targets, uh, priority. So uh, my guys are just yeah. So it looks like those mortars are laid in. Those mortars are way off. And they're still going to push off the off their uh off their position, which is smart. I mean, if you, if you got people, you know, firing mortars in your general direction, you just want to move out of that way. Looks like you got a squad here. Uh looks like they're led by somebody. Hedda. Hedda's guys are moving into position to the east of the fob. Get some good eyes on them. I think we missed that. I think there was a team kill uh, frost on uh, B car. So B car is down. It's a SL down. Oh, mortars are now on. Oh. I hope it wasn't a team kill. <laughs> And an interesting thing is Oddball's squad has been saved. They have pulled off that flanking position. Or actually, wait a second. How did squad three get down the river? Of course, the tire factory. Squad one never saw them. They started at the north, and now they're south of squad one. They have actually moved in between. Oh, two. Jack, on the mortars, gets, gets hit by another counter. That's an SL down. So this These mortar is doing excellent damage right now. The uh, last mortar blew up a sandbag row right there and also killed uh, eight or killed a Jack right here. So uh, mortars are down. All right, everyone, you're hunkering building. Ooh, that's bad. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, they they have an entire fire team from Squad 3 that just moved down the bank of the river in between a squad and hasn't been spotted, and they're moving up to their six. And I'm, I'm, I'm still looking at Assault Squad, but, you know, looking at the map, they could cause a little bit of disturbance if they don't get seen, especially if they take this high top where the mortars just landed from Militia earlier. 
They kind of just switched positions. Try to keep your eyes out, guys, but the mortars are hitting. Mortars the definitely taking a man. toll on the guys. They are uh, they're bunkering up, getting ready for an attack now. They're coming right on top of me. Jack, that was Athol on their uh, mortars that took you out. Squad 2 is ready, squad two is like, ready to assault. Copy. Two squads we'll here, squad ready to three go. Does. All right, there's gonna be a lot Check of out what 3 does. That's the biggest nightmare in the train. But, uh, Ethel, let's drop as smoke as we can on the uh, position. Make sure you keep spacing. You don't want one frag spread, out spread for dropping us. And they're calling for smokes. Copy. I want you to drop a lot of smokes on the south side first for uh, assault, then drop a lot of smoke on the east side of the train yard. Dropping smoke on the east side of that train yard is definitely helpful because that is a terrible side to push from. It's It's got a lot of open ground and a lot of nooks and crannies to people hide in, so... It is the worst... This is the worst flag to take an invasion on this on this map. And it, yeah, you're absolutely right. That east side is, it, it's a grinder. It really is a grinder. And dropping smokes there is going to help out that east platoon. Uh, who is that? Squad two? The Harv? Yeah. Harv squad's going to have a, an easier side. Or is that Aethel squad? Squad one moving southwest. No, oh, actually that's Hedda's squad. Squad two is Hedda. Then come in the smokes. East is going to push in. I'm wondering if Assault's going to try to do a pincher move and attack while Squad 2 is pushing in. Push in. Go ahead and push your way up to, like, Echo 8. Fuck, Echo 3 exactly my in that area. Looks push like Harv is uh, inside the fob. Uh, he's Copy. looks to be the one in command there right now uh, with Sloth. Uh, yeah, my moving out like and around, that's it's risky business with mortars up right now. Yep, Assault's laying down suppression, so Squad 2 can come in. They got guys pushing in. Fire team doing Smoke's suppression, in. fire team moving in. Assault leading from the behind. Definitely a, a good a good diversion, getting their attention here to the south while the east moves in. That's a, that's a good idea. But yeah, they are. As you hear assault saying, "Spread out, spread out, spread out." He's got guys that are way too bunched up. One grenade and they are done. At least four. The other thing with spreading out is you got too many people moving around. You have a you have a big chance of doing a team. And that RPG did not do, I think, what Oddball thought it was going to do. Yeah, I know. That's what they did, yeah. We're throwing smokes, guys. You need... Very close. Need uh, everyone's security yeah, now. Roger, close, Ford, so can you see anything? The south. We had some light contact with enemies. East, uh, east, south, east of us yeah, looking at that. Draw them in. Roger, More mortars coming in. in. HE. Keep your eyes. Uh, we're just trying to take three. This is softening up those uh, those sandbag lines there. Yeah. Moving right, right outside ball. Ah, ball just misses taking some rounds. Moving west. Right on Great mortars the there. Right in the middle of the, the compound. Copy. They're, they're just south of us. I'm bald. Hard injuring one of the militia forces. He's going to have to oh. bandage up. And there goes the uh, MTLB in action. Hey, squad two, just squad two and three. Might be, I'm not sure. Uh, we put down Fox 198. Oh my guys. I haven't got any problem. They could have died in the past.
looks like Assault Squad is just holding a position right here. Kind of trying to pick them off as they poke out these windows and doors. Oh, and Eyeball takes a shot. Moving across, he's going to have to ban. Squad 2 looks like they're getting... They've lost a couple of uh, infantrymen pushing in on that east side. Salt calling HE yeah. -E close to his position. He's getting uh he's getting some guys on the southwest here. They flanked in. I just need mortar smoke. He's also getting guys from the C5 check fire to the north. Squad one's pushing up. What do you see that inside the building? Just hey, come be guys. I got, got an L shape over uh getting off flanked. I'm gonna try to over there with uh with assault in the middle of it. Eyeball's pushing in strong and hard. He's going to go CQC. Takes down one. Takes down two. Takes down three. Wow. Yo, I'm in command. We're getting fucked on the south side. Need to yeah. smoke more. We're coming. We're, we're trying to help you out. Tell us where you need the smoke exactly. Right on top of it. How's that smoke level? Ain't calling it smoke to their south. That will help for the time being with Alpha's guys coming up. So we can't find you on the map. Three, we got guys popping smoke to the south currently. Hey, west, 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 west. To the west too. They breached the building to the west. Back. Are they already in? Command, Yes, yes, they're in. They can't, well, yeah, they can't yeah, so we got Oddball Squad here, or Oddball's fire team here on the south pushing in, and it looks like Squad 2's on the north side pinching them in. This is going to get... There's only two, maybe three militia left inside the fob. Oh, maybe two, and that is it. Oddball gets a fourth. Oddball's on a tear right now. We single-handedly killed all these guys on the south side here. What a beast move. Yeah, oh, I, I think Militia is cleared. Oh, nope, they got some coming in from the south side. Oddball calls them out. I guess they got flank, reflanked. Copy, just hold your position, hold a hard corner. Yep. Yeah, they should be right Looks frame like inside that building. guys coming in. He took one. Oh, and they're moving in with a purpose. We got we got guys eyeball coming in bound, still in bound up. from the west duplex to do, do reposition. So oh, nope, eyeball is down. And they come in and they clear out eyeball and don't get shot. So this flanking element from the south is all that's going to save this fob. I mean, they do have to retake it if it gets taken, but I don't think it really got taken. Okay, cross, cross, cross. They took that, uh, that south, cross, southwest corner and there and, and ran. Yeah, what did I call out? Four for oddball? All right, cross it. So militia is retaking the south side. There are five, six, seven people from the Russian forces that are on the north. Well, four on the north and three on the east. So they definitely need some help. They got four coming in to reinforce them. So I'm thinking there's probably about eleven people on the Russian Russian side left. If you see them on this east side, uh, fucking. Light him up. Uh, oh, there he is. There he is. He's uh, oh, heavily engaged from the south southwest. Yeah, eyes up. He's Sorry, on the rock. Sorry. 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 Southwest. They're in the conix boxes just to your south, too. Let's see what Money I Man can do. Sounds like an oh, IED boy. just went off. He's still good, too. Oh, boy. He's still good, too. No, no charges. We're so good. good. He's got four that's probably going to cross right in front of him. 
Oh, money. 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 There's one. Good, good work. Money. Two. We have their enemies close to southwest. Watch out. Oh, money. Taken by a shoddy. Oh, poor money. Snaglet looking for these two fires that he was Good. looking for. Yeah. Two people he's looking for. Oh, he takes the shoddy down. Coming out. Anymore, so. Takes north, we're gonna push uh, north. We're gonna push uh, west and south of you. Try to flank them. Good thing he's a medic. He can heal himself up, bandage, and bring his health back up. There's a lot of these guys around squad two, south of squad two. I guess he's gonna regroup with his squad, or he's gonna hide. Wait for Scottish chap to come up and give him some directions. Meanwhile, that MTLB has their, their uh, that road yeah. heading Scottish chap down. There's uh, no way for him to pass okay, here. Scotland. I'm getting scratched by ARs from the west. Okay. Command's starting to come in close to the fight. Well, there's no reason to. So... Oh, maybe. We'll see. Just keep covering that angle, guys. Too bad they can't move this MTLB. Oh. Yeah, they're definitely not going to be able to do anything on this west side with that MTLB just sitting there unless they have some lats to take it out. Probably should have put at least a sandbag on the sides just in case. Do have some guys maneuvering trying to get shots on here. I got Frick Monkey and Nangelicious. Looking that way. Scottish chap takes it. Hey, how many guys do you have left? Is it just three of you? Ethel, trying to trying to do something on this western flank, but he's getting shot. They've been definitely been spot. They've definitely been spotted. It's a shame because they have that's a heavy concentration of guys over there before and they just been getting picked off left and right. Moving you on your left. Nimble thief, it happens every once in a while, man. You know, you get into your first stop and you die like within the first two seconds. It's happened to me multiple times. Don't get discouraged. Keep coming out. It'll always happen. There's been matches where I I died within the first five seconds, and there's matches where I got seven kills. Chicken is hiding like a chicken. Wait for it, I get a set round. We're taking some fire from the north and northwest. We're gonna try to cross the railroad. These guys are stuck. There's Copy, no way for them to get in. I don't, there, oh, there's a couple guys left. Athel's moving his squad across the train tracks. Um, well, I should say himself and another guy. Oh, nope. There's two other ones. So he's got a fire team with and take the factory and he's going to push in from that from the south side push in north pushing up don't know if he has any Got lats that. with him i see an ar rifleman and another ar so or yeah he has no lats to take out this Dwarf called out. He is pushing in. We have eyes on the AR. It's just west of factory. We're crossing it again. And modern thinks that the MTLB is friendly on the north side. It is not a friendly. It is the MTLB, buddy. Nothing friendly about that. It's friendly Missed lat like shot. 
Miss lat shot on the MTL. Lethal goes down. That's another squad lead down. Oh, he loses himself slaughter. and another person from his uh, squad. He's only there's only two left. Modern death and perfectly fried. Command comms, real silent. Really no way for anybody else to get in other than Dorf over here. And yeah, it's going to be hard for him. He's about to get in some close quarters with Chonka here. Yeah, because there's, no, there's only six Copy, left I'm on hurt. Russian. Copy, I'm down a second. Yeah. Chances are looking slim here for the Russians. Forces spread Render's out everywhere. Advantage. Modern splitting off from his, uh, his battle buddy. I don't know, maybe they're going to try to do like a different type of movement here. I don't know what they're doing. Dwarf, be advised with the vehicle. Copy. There's a guy right next to me, so Modern I'm definitely going to die in a second. Modern Death is right behind this MTLB, but there's nothing he can do with it as an AR. Just to be sure, the vehicle isn't ours, correct? The MTLB is not ours. None of these vehicles are ours. Dwarf. Dwarf gets wasted by Chanka. Chanka had the defender's advantage there. So five left on the Russian side. Modern Death is trying to climb under the MTLB, but I don't think he knows that there's no one left to help him. There's quite a few people here left on the FOB itself. Defender's advantage, not much angles here that are, uh, are vulnerable. MTLB takes another casualty. He's just racking in those victims. So we're down to three on the Russian side. Chicken has not moved from this spot for the past about five minutes. He is scared of that thing. Down to two. Modern's trying to get chickens, uh, chicken to come over and help. He is an engineer. I don't know what chicken is doing, but he could help. They see my modern death down. Chicken is left. That is it. We're down to the last man. It's now the uh, last man talk to yourself time. Yeah, and all he has is a shotgun. <laughs> the squad ops tradition we have. His... Yeah, I don't think he has any ammo in his primary. That guy's really just going to sit there all day with his little one TLB. Yeah, he's got to make a move. He's got to do something. But against nine militia, not, well, you never know. I don't, I don't want to call it. No, we don't. I can do it. There's nothing coming. You can almost hear Chicken thinking of his options here, and there's not many. There's a reason he hasn't been able to cross this road for the past 10 minutes. That M M MTLB location was definitely a smart choice instead of putting it in inside of the compound. Definitely thinking outside the box here.
TLB getting oh, a yep. slight shot on him. Not not enough. Oh. He's now been spotted out by people in the fob. Man, at this point, slot or whoever's still in command just says, "Hunker down." At this point, there's oh, no absolutely. reason for yeah. he he has to come to them. That's literally the objective. So uh, one on you know many. I I don't see that. Uh, yeah, I think it's I think it's nine inside the compound, ten count in the MTLB. You sure clearing them corners? I really thought Eyeball was just going to oh, mop like everybody up for the uh, Russians. That Alpha Guido flank came in at the perfect time. Uh, he, they, even though he died and the majority of his guys may have been, have died, that stopped that advance real quick. And from there, it just hasn't hasn't worked out for the Russians at all. Yeah, because he, he started out all the way on the north and made his way all the way down to the south and completely flanked them. I thought he was going to wait. Well, I mean, he was the waiting. No, they're definitely outside. They're definitely it's outside. It's about to, uh, see if they can make a push. Yeah, yeah, turn to the, the compound. Yep, the they're probably pushing. Right yeah, they're in, they're in, they're in. No, well, it's going to work. Copy. Is there a frag? No, I used my frag, unfortunately. No, stay where you are. The Watch this. They're going to have to come around. He is placed Sets. down a satchel charge. <laughs> oh, they got a, they got a satchel down, they got a he better down, move down, unless down. he wants to kill himself. A little bit of shock and awe, I guess. That grenade exploded in the air. Okay. But really, just an all-around well, well thought out plan by uh, by Sloth and his guys. Oh yeah, absolutely. And putting that MTLB in a place that it hasn't been before, just I think. Yeah, copy. May have screwed the plants for Dorf. I don't think he was accounting for that. And I really never heard it called out until later on. It was called out of the very end game and that is yeah. uh <laughs> They're coming out again duplex from that door. Copy. I don't have eyes Meanwhile the chicken assault here is uh shit. Slow and methodical. I hear at least two guys I think running. Yeah, that's yes. what we're going to call this, the chicken tactic. He's going to go blast him with his boomstick, apparently. Yeah, the running... Okay. And no cover for chicken here. He's... Pony. No way, no way. <laughs> Fitting end. Fitting end. Oh, and uh, I think that may be it. I am pretty sure. Fitting end to this uh, very eventful round. That was that was interesting. That's all. That's the brief. Yep. That's One it. moment. Ooh, Sweet. Awesome. Now get back. Now get back. Now get back. Come on. Oh. <laughs> uh, all right, so, so welcome, welcome, uh, good afternoon, whatever, comrades. Uh, for the glory of Mother Russia, we have reinforced this position because and looks the like Dorf in this is area has been acting up against positioning uh, it in the rule, uh, or Putin's rule, whatever. Who's in charge of the us standard right now. position? I would say uh, uh, over there by the ruins is. Uh, yep. Militia has taken over the he's, factory. He's got a he's got a good idea of our what he's base. doing. I trust him. Uh, the goal today is to take it. They've been stockpiling weapons of not mass destruction, but uh, small arms weapons and a anti aircraft vehicle that we need to take out. The main objective is to secure factory. All the other ones are secondary objective. Uh, from there, we will move out from our location here, uh, and we will set up a Mortar fob at Hotel 252, which will be Alpha Squad. His whole squad will stay on point. We're going to try and entice uh, the militia commander to flank that position and try and attack the fob or the mortar location. And we're going to lay an ambush for him and hopefully mess up a whole, uh, whole squad. 
Uh, with that happening, while that's happening, we're going to be conducting a creeping barrage for Jack and Harv's squad. They're going to be creeping up to these hills at Gulf 379 and Gulf 217. Uh, getting positions on those uh, hills to prepare to push into the factory from the north. We will have B car squad moving south, getting set on the hill. As support by fire and if needed an extra squad to push in uh, if the northern squads are taking heavy casualties or major resistance from factory uh, and then other than that there's really nothing else going on uh, that you guys are doing just we're it's simple we just need to take factory for the glory of mother Russia are there any questions oh real quick before that look for the radio of taking factory if we don't dig down the radio, we don't take factory. Any questions now? And we need to we need to destroy the MTLB. MTLB needs to be destroyed to take factory. Any questions? Question. Stop they have fidgeting. a Logi truck. And they're there. Please stop fidgeting. Alright, that's clear. That's it. Alright, uh, go ahead and SLs break them out. Alright, we're loading the southern lodgy here. Are you trying to say I'm trying to say don't load it. Did you already do a lodgy yeah. run? Uh, yeah, this is that uh, truck, but it? for reasons known only to no. historians, he decided to put 2,300 uh, build in this and 500 ammo. No, I'm a sapper, not a, don't uh, do anything. Uh, we were supposed to wait till live. Okay. We were supposed to wait till after live to do a larger run. Okay. Oh, oh shit! I didn't know that door. Yeah, no, it's fine. We'll just uh, we'll leave it. We'll time it for a while, and then after this period of time, we'll. Or fuck it. God Just have them drive it, down Scooby. there and drive God back. Damn it. That's the whole point. So, pretty interesting plan coming from Sloth. Uh, he's gonna focus, it seems like, a lot of his forces towards the north. Clearing out this uh, town here to the northeast and one coming in from the southeast. Just and we have a problem. Someone's trying to drive an MTLB. What? No, I didn't see anything. Okay. We're not going Wait, live for a little bit, so no. Okay, maybe we're not going to be live in 30 seconds. I meant to update you guys. Okay. So we're going to go live here probably around 7:40. I guess Militia still needs to get their brief going on. Frost, you got all so the, we'll uh, be back. Work. We're going to let you uh, yeah, listen no, in on not, because Jack is not this. Here they uh. Chat yeah, in the yeah. game. I mean, you Where's got everyone else other than Jack. Though... Or do we have a time now? Do all these mods yes, shock is five for eleven. Uh, Scottish uh, squad lead. Okay, Dorf, we're gonna time three minutes uh, since you start the brief. Start the game. Just get a rifleman kit. I think you're a recruit kit. Uh, make wrong. it seven forty, and we'll be good. Copy. All right. Ada just messaged me. He doesn't think he's getting back. Okay, copy. All right, hey guys. Uh, we're gonna make this quick. So. Good try last round, uh, is what it is, just things didn't work out our favor. So this round, Scottish squad, Scottish squad is going to be hanging out down here near the five marks, watching our southwest and our south, uh, towards the train bridges and the map border to stop what Hada and Assault did last round. Assault squad is going to be around these uh, helmet markers, watching our east and uh, so, you know our south, just being a reactionary squad. Scrooby squad, since Hada is gone, is going to be holding the uh, tire factory. One guy in Scrooby Squad is going to take the Logi truck down to Main, down to our Main, fill it with 2,000 ammo and 1,000, or excuse me, 2,000 build, 1,000 ammo. Again, 2,000 build, 1,000 ammo. We'll fill that truck, come back up here, dump it, and leave it. We won't use the truck. We're going to do one Logi run. Um, and then Aethel Squad is going to be split between the helmet marks and the AR marks. They're going to be watching our north flank. Uh... 
I am going to be guarding the MTLB. We'll have machine guns and mortars and whatever else set up as necessary here. So, um, as they come in, we'll fuck them up. And our final, our final protective line will be just around the factory. Kind of like what they did last round. We'll get into these uh, compounds, these buildings, and we'll just defend with our lives. Any questions? Yes. Yes. Do we have any sort of uh, flanking squad or whatever? Um, well, it depends on where they attack from. And how they attack. Cool. I'm not... There's no dedicated flanking squad. It just kind of develops as the situation develops. If they come from the north, should we uh, Alamo back? Yeah, Aethel squad, as you guys get fucked up and like overran, you guys are definitely falling back. Yeah, no, my guys are briefed. For you. It's a fighting retreat all the way. Yeah. Do uh, the same infantry rules apply as Russians? What? What same rules? Like, you know, going uh, on bridge. water? Utilizing bridges. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, we have a little less. Yeah, we're not, we're not finished. <laughs> Good. Excuse me. All right, one more line. <laughs> All right, so had a little bit of delay. Militia needed to get their command brief out. We're gonna go live here in about a minute and a half. It's looking like militia is gonna push off the point towards the perimeter defense around the northeast focused they're gonna have the mtlb on the inside of the compound this time so we're not gonna have to i guess they're gonna it's a little bit different but i i i mean i don't know jack and someone else i like i like it inside the defense but i think the wall the you know all the walls around the the factory kind of block its view and don't you defend you know they kind of you know defeat the purpose of that the that a portion of it i mean what are your thoughts about that boogie I mean, definitely it's a little more restrictive area here, but I do think that uh, whenever the push starts to happen, if they have try that again, any time on this side, uh, they will... Uh, any kind of movement on this side will, will meet its demise. So it's It, it could be it, it could be a little different from the last game. Last game they had a lot of good eyes all over the place, so it should be interesting to see how this plays out. Good thing is, is they are putting their mortar pretty close. They're putting. It looks like they got a mortar mark down at Hotel and Two Five Two. I shouldn't be doing, but so yes, I'm be should be able to get the mortars out. down quick. I mean, I don't know in the mod if there's a, you know, twenty second flight time like in vanilla. Yeah, I don't think that's been tampered with. Uh, I think I don't think you can mess with mortars too much. And here we go. We are live with round two. What's up? Of the operation and uh we're gonna see how this one plays out i'm excited to see what sloth boy has in store more excited to see what you know dorf has for a defense now putting the mtlb inside of the factory instead of on the outside overlooking everything and we're getting reports that he's putting a cocoon wrapped around the mtlb of sandbags protected from lat shots Pretty smart move. I mean, you know, I don't know, I don't know how the last so shots do on the go. sandbags. I mean, how how is it in vanilla for you? Do you think good. they're pretty effective? Depends where you hit it. If you uh, if you hit it dead on in a good spot, it 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 can damage both. They're stacking it too high right, right now. I'm looking at. You're gonna build. Uh, um, with stacking it too high, high you got to put it in a good spot and able to get a. Uh, or this one if you're gonna get any kind of uh, shot, second shot on it, so really it's it's gonna be difficult for them to uh, to do that because of the of the amount of ammo they have with that last shot. Same with this one, just build it halfway. So I, so I wish one we built halfway. Uh, that is interesting. The... He is doing too deep here, yeah, so right uh, what, last right shots that one, that one, that one, will have to one. be. Those are done. Now take these two we'll have to be blown up to twice here. Interesting move here. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah. I mean, you always, always have a, uh, a second, second little, you know, yeah, protection. You don't want to, you don't want to give everything up on the first one. Yep. 
Just push west. And that MTLB, uh, I mean, one, we saw it in the last uh, or the last, last round. On G3, seven, it's nine, it, it's a it's a multiplier. It's definitely a force one, multiplier seven, to have that in a position where you can either overlook or shoot upon the enemy forces coming into your yet, your objective or your area of operation. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, three to it's also putting uh, barbed wire around it and money man runs into it. No, no, no. You guys are oh no, <laughs> that's the worst. I hate that in the game. Like you come out of like a fob and they have like barbed wire everywhere, and you're like, "What is this? You know, Pandora's box? I mean, is this a maze that I gotta I gotta have the secret password just to get out of my own fob and go to go to attack the enemy that's coming in on our super fob that you decided to spend three hours to build for no reason." So looks like uh, Dorf is using a lot of barbed wire on the outside. Uh, something, you know, that's uh, that's definitely very, very Good useful in, in kind of getting the enemies into a spot you want them to be. Um, very yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah, so far. Oh, definitely. It's a delaying tactic. Yeah, you know, it's it's like setting up a wall. The wall is not meant to we'll come up from prevent anyway. someone from coming in. It's than, to delay uh, them. I hear mortar shots going out. Hold on, guys. I'm going to go FK for 10 seconds. All right, here's what we're going to do. Uh, do I... And I guess they're firing mortars right onto the compound. I'm wondering how that's that's doing on the uh, MTLB that's inside of the factory. So, yeah, mortars mortars are landing to the, uh, right now to the east of the village, so... We're gonna have to do some corrections here to get it right on top of the compound. And we got a squad up here on. Oh, oh my god, two squads. They are way too bunched up. And there's a fire team directly to their northwest that if they pick them out, I mean, they're gonna call off the entire attack that, you know, Sloth Boy has come up with and they're gonna start running straight into him I and mean, i see sansa right here he's at least 100 meters away from the enemy oh and they spotted him i hear shots getting fired towards him who's currently engaged me all right Harp, north west, for, uh, you give me grid yep, fire. Um, enemy ak fire west from sansa he hears those shots he's looking towards that but he's got to be careful about his positioning because he does have more forces towards his northwest west some more uh g112 north... some more mortar shots coming in now on the uh west side of the uh the factory here he's not letting them uh build at all yeah that, that's pretty smart don't give him the chance and sansa's over here laying down some suppression on Athel and his squad Two of them are going to have to bandage. He's still got a fire team up to the north northwest, and they look like they're going to be flanking around. And okay, Fulcrum might have Mort seen Mort them. Yep, location, he yeah. has seen them, but he's he didn't know where they just those, uh, uh, repositioned. They repositioned further to yeah, the north. I'm going to try and move for those uh, mortars, so just let them do it. All right, one mortar is out. Or round's complete. Perfect mortars, perfect mortars. Mortars were a little bit off there. Uh, I, I think they think that they're on that rock formation and in this right, little uh, little house over here. Copy, wait, wait. Uh, but they've pulled off up the hill here. Moving to the Overwatch. And yeah, it looks like squad, squad, squad three pushing up from the south. I wonder how they're going to attack this hill that the militia has set up on top of. Yeah, let them pass uh, four. Uh, unless they're getting... How, how many are there? Let's get a little close here. A squad word. If you can engage and take out multiple contacts, engage. Roger. Ooh, grenade overthrow up here on the north. Perfectly fried in modern death trying to move in onto an entire fire team. Copy. Get motors on there in a second. V-car, go ahead and hold there. Or actually, just kidding. 
It looks like they're moving off a tad, trying to get a better fire position against these guys. Modern death moving over. Yeah, and Fulcrum is pulling back from it. This three taking fire. We got a squad. Three, give me coordinates. I can drop mortars on shortly. I mean, he got an entire platoon. Or I should say two squads up here on the north. They are way too close. One mortar strike and they are all gone. I mean, I'm looking at guys that are like five, maybe 15 meters apart. Fox 4, 6, 5. Copy that. You guys safe? I don't see them. Uh, I saw Tracers. Yeah, I saw Tracers. We've got a whole line of going on here. Northwest. A lot of injured, uh, yep, a lot of injured guys so, up on the hill over there. Like you said, that, like... there's one mortar round, and that's gonna that's gonna hurt and kill a lot of guys there. All right, ready. What's up? All right, they're on one, two, five. Yeah, it definitely looks up here on the north that the Russians have delayed this flanking element from the militia from up north. It looks like Squad Four. They have a fire team that was trying to push, and they just got stopped. Where are they? Looks Ryan calls it out. Two bunched up. Robo, what you got me doing now? What? If you're watching, you ever play in these ops, this is not what you want to see. You don't want to see four guys this close together. Five guys, I should say. You want them spread out. You know, something more like this with Sansa, Frost, and uh, Reagan of Terra. Region of Terra. All right. Um, do you want us to? Just a little tip. So right now, B car, B car is uh, stuck between two squads here. Uh, there's no real good place for him to go at the moment. Uh, you've got guys up on the hill over here, and elevated positions over here, while he is in a lower position. Not the best. Not what you want to be fighting in at this point. Nah, you, you you don't want to be pinched in between two enemy forces. I mean, that's that's when you're just like, crap. What do I do? And you start you start getting bad thoughts in your head. You start getting confused. If you're getting pinched in between two people, you need to lay down smokes and reposition to another location. Hopefully, higher ground than where you were. Get a good overlook. Assess your situation. Attack from that assist. Attack from that session. Charlie, keep pushing. Roger. Build a hill. Right, for now. Uh, we'll go back into my uh, standard barrage pattern here shortly. Bravo, let's push for the next hill. Roger, I don't it looks see like B car is pushing so up into the uh, position of assaults. Right, uh, buddy team right, over here. It's oddball in darkness. Yeah, because up here in the north, there's an entire squad just sitting because of two people. You got perfectly fried and modern death that have basically stalled an entire squad. That isn't something good. I mean, th there should have been some call outs of like how many forces that they see. Because if it's only a couple of people, you want to push off away from them, keep some 360 and move on. And it looks like they're now just starting to move on. Roger, yep, B cars guys are getting real close, real close to oddball here. See if you can engage it and uh, take out whatever is uh, using it. Looks like he's pushing a a, a fire team up, a, a fire team of three guys trying to test the waters, I guess. Um, oh, absolutely. Yeah, you definitely don't want to stick your nose out before, uh, because you are the only only communication. Or have you other than your fire team leaders, you know, and, and when they get in there, it's it's a jumbled mess. Uh, they they haven't yeah. heard what what's been going on for the past you know thirty minutes and don't really know the situation. Have to be brief. Yeah, if, if you're attacking a position, some of the best things that you can do is send in a probing force, see where see where you're getting contacts from, and then develop a plan after that. 
you know, you don't want to throw your entire force into one position and it's like, you know, you're basically the turkey in the turkey shoot. Darkness is in a keen position here if he's if he's looking the right way. And he is. Checking his rear at the moment. Right, so I got a uh, I got a fire team on uh, my location. Or on the yellow location right. I'm supposed to be at. Roger, good copy. Direction four. Shots fired over here. Darkness goes down. Three fifteen. So far so good. Yep. We're gonna look out for enemies here for one. Oh, grenade kills Suran. Yeah, we're engaged in something. I'm just trying to find targets. Looks like assaults guys are going to start posturing towards this way. They now know that there are there are definitely enemies in the area. Yeah, and they still got that squad one down in the train tunnels that could definitely push on their flat on their south side and just wipe them out. Just you know, just like Alpha Guido did the last round. Oddball sees. Sees one. Actually, he's got a bush in between him and a uh, Russian soldier. He peels out, looking in for a better position. And it, and it looks like Frost, his platoon, his uh, squad has has found assault squad and is firing on his position. So I'm wondering if assault knows that he's getting attacked from both sides. Uh, looks like Harv now has eyes on the uh, the objective. Uh, probably able to start calling in some pretty uh, pretty good mortar missions. Yeah, I'm uh, ranging him now. Give me a sec. Roger, your copy. Hey, make sure you pop smokes all over the place. Don't just uh, pop smokes right in front of him. Yeah, I'm aware. And I, I think I've actually seen a squad ops first. Liberal oh, pundit is playing as AR. He's not the medic. <laughs> yeah. I wonder what happened. Wow. If you guys don't know Liberal, he's uh, do not wait on them. he's been around here a long time. He's uh, he, is a, he is a squad ops icon. Yeah. Four is in position, waiting for smoke. Roger, good copy. The Copy oldest the member of squad ops, probably the most likable. Oh, absolutely! If you don't like, if you don't like liberal uh, pundit, you don't like anybody. And there's something wrong with you. <laughs> Mortars are going out. Uh, looking to see if these hit factory here. It sounds like they may. Smoke mortars. Going out on the east side. Yeah, I'm seeing I'm seeing it from this hilltop and there's the smoke north. mortars, yeah. Oh, they're, they're spreading them out. Yeah, smoking the MTLB. Wonder if Harv does does Harv have eyes on that MTLB? I, I, I don't know if he does. I haven't hey, heard anything. Ahead, um, I'm still. I, I haven't heard anything for, in local uh, chat. Also, something to look for, look for. Uh, Dwarf's left side. Um, sandbags are totally gone. Lat shots can get through there. Yeah, I want you to partially flank. If Squad three would look north. They would see. So the other squad one, three eight, on the enemy side. I, I guess it's eyeball squad. Can you repeat oh, they're three, getting three, shots three, taken from Echo across four, the map. Oh, yeah. they're getting hit by squad one. Squad one seeing them across the map. They got the high ground on. So they've been called out. They have a squad to their north and a squad from their south. And they just see ones from the north. One goes down. Looks like assaults guys are uh, they're posturing towards those guys. If Alpha gets wise to it, he could push on these guys here on top of this mountain. B car, their SL is, is uh, down the slope a little bit, letting these guys fight it out. I 
That ball sneaking up on him. Maybe he's trying to he's trying to re get some redemption, get a couple more kills from last time. Three, it's, uh, I'm sorry to say, but you're kind of on your own unless you can push up to factory and push it. Start time now. Yeah, Roger. command's calling out for three to push up. He's kind of on it, saying he's kind of on his own right now. It's going to be kind of difficult when you got a, uh, got Assault, Clay J, and Horny Uncle Niner and Oddball all right, waiting for you to do that. Oh, absolutely. Be advised of dropping, uh, mortars on that and North Squad North 1 North looks North like they're North getting North real North close North to North the, North 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 uh, to so, the fob on uh, more factory. More grenades there. Yeah, let's fight them off. Return frag, one frag. Alpha, did you guys get engaged? Yeah, we're engaged. And I trust my squad, so I'm not going to any mortar squads. Keep giving me shit. Roger, you got. Meanwhile, there's a push going on over here at uh at the factory. It looks like quite a few people have gone down, but there are definitely guys inside. Latko go, shots going out on Dwarf. One, give me a Smokes galore. In the command net, we got people close on the north and east. Yep. Command, my fire team of hunting the mortars have gone down. You have some guys here inside this, uh... Killed one fucking RPG. Inside this, uh, train station. Boy, they're directly between you and me. Now I wonder how, how many how many lats are still around. It, it it doesn't look like there are many in the area. Otherwise, I'd be taking some shots at them. Yo, come on, this is three. I lost squad B. Let me get a count too. Right now, I count. Yes, I need everyone back to the fob. Two lats left. That is it. We have they have two lats left. Alpha but Guido is calling in mortars on that MTLB. More, almost a direct hit on Dwarf there. Oh, sandbags are gone. Yeah. Sandbags are gone. They have two lats and two engineers left. So, this could be bad for Dwarf. And the mortars are coming in. See, this is the risk it you take as south command. Side, south side of the objective. They're being in, in a uh, in a vehicle Apparently. by yourself. This is a risk you take. Virtually all his sandbags are gone, all protection gone. Just like either watch out that way or just watch the door. Make sure they don't come in. I'll try to watch the outside. Assault is definitely in trouble. I believe he has gone down. B car is still up. And yep. They have that squad that was down to the south has completely pushed B-Car's squad and has left him with only three people. Mortar's going all around Dorf's vehicle at this point. They know exactly where he is at. Our squad's down to two people. His Mortar's entire, just a his little bit too tall. Sloth boy just went down. Heard that over comms. Squad two, it looks like is all that is left. It looks like Copy squad it. one. Well, B car is by himself. Yeah, he has no one hit. left. Three's uh, solo right now. At this point, we're getting word that he's uh, Dwarf has called all militia back, back to the fob here. Alright, one, uh, we're gonna try to come in from the north, northeast. 
Yeah, copy that. One, what's the situation? Is there any way clear for us to try to push it? B car, can you keep pushing up as well in your position? I'm the only one left down here. Copy. Well, one guy's gonna be a lot harder to spot than a multiple, so just you got moving. one inside Open the it. compound, Lagger. He's holding a good position. He can watch anyone coming from his right. So if anyone crosses basically Take that a 50 down. yard distance, he's going to see him. He hears on horny Uncle Niner. Liberals made his way in there as well. Hey, do you guys see anyone from four over there? I think there's probably one guy left in four. I don't see. Bagger, come on. You got to see that guy moving around. All right, copy then. We're the only ones here. Some maneuvering going on here. Uh, they're, they're trying to get these guys out of here. They're taking my... The next bit. Let's see what Liberal can do. Watch him walk out of here sure with 10 kills. I'm not sure if there's anyone still on the MTLB, but if you come to me... If you come to me, uh, the MTLB is to my direct west. Slow copy crawling into him. Right He's going into the den with that AR. Meanwhile, Alpha Guido's guys are moving in uh, from the uh, the northeast north here. Oh, there's someone still in it. Shit, I'm losing my guys. Harv, hold position. Do not push. Let, wait till my guys fully get in here. My Charlie Fire team's just on your Oh, liberal. Get them, liberal. Get them. Got one. Yes! Good shot. Still there. has one more. Don't get shot. I don't know that he knows exactly where he's at. Hedda goes down. Oh. To Alpha Guido. Somebody got Hedda. Hey, guys, I'm the last one on my squad. They killed everyone. Copy that GG one. Liberal. We're stacked up on the north side right now. We're going to try to push in. Close to you guys. Yeah, copy. I'm close. So it looks like Alpha Guido's guys are stacked up here on the north. Uh, still, <laughs> still <laughs> occupied by Dwarf. Oh. My head just about got linked. Right. Harv almost getting his head taken off by that uh, MTLB. Yeah, a majority of the forces for the Russians are towards the north. B car, he's pushing his way on the east side. They're calling out the MTLB from Harv. Dorf's uh, MTLB is smoking. Is uh is in a little bit of a rough condition right now while he's getting surrounded from my north from your north here in the ruins oh yeah i hear him local comms they can't see this mtlp that's right yeah, next to right them to their right side there's that oddball and don't get shot flanking around getting a couple guys The jig is up here on the north. They now know that they're all. Still trying to clear out the street. Got contacts Yo. northeast side. Smoke's they, going out. Over the northeast Smoke's the all over the place. There's... Yeah, they're just getting eaten up on this north. I, th I think there should be a uh, a note in the op doc. Don't come north. Yep. Let them do their thing. Dwarf just shoot everything and anything around him to try to uh to stop the Guido on top literally on top of him. Yeah. No, don't sweep it, just fucking get in near the fob and help defend. Popping the smoke around the MTLB. Trying to cover his sight lines. We'll, just, we'll make him push to us. I don't want to fucking lose bodies sweeping them. Guido takes hits. Guido down. I think I traded though. How did I get hit again? Oh no, this ain't going. Well. Oh fuck! Just gotta go for it, guys. Just gotta go for it. Chanka calling out, just go for it. <laughs> He's like, it's him, Lima Bean. They're they're getting uh getting trapped here. I don't think there's very many up next to me. I think there's like one or two left up here. 
They're in a bad spot. They're in the same bad spot that uh, they were last yeah, round. Man, yeah, it's looking like three There's against right about here, 12. Hear, Garrett just deleted Aethel right there. There's one on the other side of the MTLB. Where the ass is. Redibus also with them. I'm taking command of squad four, Aethel's... Lima Bean going on a uh, expedition <laughs> yeah. over here. Fuck! Don't get shot. Come He's to you. Don't get that, shot. Come to you. Uh, well, he takes down one. <laughs> He's going for that some. meta strat. <laughs> Saying, "What's up, bro?" <laughs> so don't get shot. And oh, trades man. with Clay J. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> well, we're down to three. Really, at this point, uh, they have all avenues are pretty much blocked to the uh, to the fob here, and it's it's looking like a uh, a repeat of last round. Absolutely, yeah. That, I mean, MTLB just Don't it does something. Like everyone focuses on it. Like take down here. the MTLB uh, cannot I'm move. Take down the radio. So okay, it's in the op doc. Right, it cannot move. Just two of us to the west, you know what you want to do. Stop peeking, but uh, just watch where you are. Uh, watch east towards the MTLB. There's still a guy right And in me. this position, the MTLB could not do anything see. if they attacked that radio from the direct they south. They run past me, uh, just start fucking shooting them. It's bum rush to shell. And all other squads be advised, there's still guys in the train yard. I just can't see them. Don't sweep, just let them come to you. Thanks, Lawn Darts. Always... Always uh, appreciate the kudos from you. Dor, can I get a grid for where our train yard is? The train yard is on the map and very, 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 very visible. Fuck you, say. Really would like to see uh, somebody <laughs> get a move on here. Somebody do something. Yeah, someone, someone's definitely got to move. There's... <laughs> Chonka trying to plead to the gods for an orbital to airstrike. And they're gonna gonna charge and in. charge. <laughs> Two Dorf left, deletes. <laughs> what a what a fantastic charge that was. Mother Russia is proud of you, Chonka. Oh yeah, just gotta do it.